Hello, one and all. Welcome back to Code Weaver Plays Games. So this is going to be a bit of a special stream, in as much as I'm doing it as a demo for a friend of mine who doesn't really have a whole lot of experience with uh, VR, and uh, he's on the other side of the world. So I decided to give him a little bit of a treat. And not only that, but I'm actually going to be goofy enough to do it on camera. Now I don't normally use my webcam for gaming at all even when I'm just sitting at my desk. So this is a special treat just because. So yeah, um, I guess that's sort of a thing. Uh, I have to go and uh, quickly expand that up to full screen so that you can uh, see the entire thing. And I'm just gonna boot my uh, chair off into the corner so I don't trip on the darn thing. Hopefully my friend uh, can show up and uh, tell me that he can see me either in his Facebook chat uh, or that, uh, or that he can see what I'm doing in the Twitch chat. All right, all right. Looks like he's watching along. I don't know how long he'll be able to stay and watch this, so I'm going to get right on to this little demonstration. So first things first, I am currently uh, wearing, or going to be wearing, my Quest 2 headset, which is a set of uh, um, uh, VR uh, VR goggles basically that you wear in order to be able to see what's going uh, on in a virtual world and So um, Yes, hi. Yes, I can see you perfect. So yeah, so I'm gonna be wearing these and you're gonna see me Prancing around my room looking like an idiot wearing uh, this headset, but I don't see my room uh, Or you or I don't even really see the computer screen very well unless I peek under the goggles I'm going to be seeing only the VR world, but you are going to see what I see because that's what the other window is for. And you can see a bunch of grid lines up on the screen there. And in a moment, you're going to be seeing the, the software that I'm actually going to be demonstrating. So um, I've been doing this, uh, this particular game on the stream for, uh, oh geez, about a month and a half now. And so this one's just for you, buddy. Um, just so you can see the kinds of stuff that I play in my spare time. And uh, I suppose you could say indirectly the kind of stuff I get up to at work, but that's a bit of a stretch. <laughs> and let's just leave that where it lays. So I'm going to get out into the middle of my room. Hopefully my webcam can, let me see if my webcam is going to be able to cover the full gamut of me walking around my room. Not really. So the big trick here is hopefully when I'm in the center of my room, you'll be able to see me still. Yes, more or less. So that'll have to do. Nobody needs to see much of my pot belly. So, all right. So here we go. These are the controllers that I use, and these basically enable me to point at things in the virtual space. You can see me waving it around in front of me. Um, and uh, yeah, let's just recenter everything. And so, what I'm going to do is, I'm going to do a little bit of mountain climbing, so, sort of. I'm going to be climbing. Where should I climb? Um, I quite liked the north when I was climbing that earlier, uh, but maybe I'll do the Alps. Uh, let's do the Alps. And we'll do Buzzard's Peak. No, we'll do the Grand Camber because it's during the daytime, and uh, and that'll be a little bit easier to see on the stream. So, here we go. You're gonna be able to see what I see, and uh, you're gonna be able to see my physical body in my apartment um, while I am playing the game. So you can get an understanding of the kinds of stuff I got to. Just make sure everything's nice and uh, tight on my headset. So here I am, I'm in front uh, of myself here. You can see my disembodied hands on the screen in front of me, hopefully. Um, they move as my controllers move in front of my space. And again, I don't see my apartment. I don't see the, see the computer screen. I'm looking around at an outside scene. I see a mountain in front of me. I see uh, a more mountain over off in the distance there. And uh, I'm standing on a wooden platform. Now, of course, I don't have legs in this, um, but that's okay. I don't actually have anything tracking my feet, but for this game, it doesn't really matter. I can bounce around a little bit, move my head. I can move my hands around. Um, the big thing to note here is I can wander around a little bit in my apartment, and you can see me wandering around a bit in the space. You can also get a sense on how high up this is, and although you can't see it in three dimensions on a flat computer screen or on a mobile, in the case of my friend, um, if I look straight down and look back and forth, ignoring the blue grid lines, that just indicates that I'm at the edge of my apartment. Um, you should be able to see uh, the see the virtual space that I'm in. 
see a little gopher up there. So let's just make sure that I'm still on screen. Sort of. I'm going to adjust the camera ever so slightly. See if that works a little better when I'm in the middle of my room. Uh, uh, yeah, that'll sort of that'll sort of do. And I'll actually close my closet door so that's not distracting. How's that? Yeah, that should do. All right. So anyway, back to the back to the task at hand. So I'm gonna climb a mountain. So the way this game works is on my controllers here, I pull the triggers in order to open and close my hands to grip onto things. I can also uh, basically shake my hands in order to put chalk on them, and that gets rid of the sweat. And as I climb up the surface, uh, there's a little stamina bar that will indicate uh, how much stress my virtual hands are under as I'm climbing. So here we go, we're going to do a little climbing. So I'm going to reach up and grab, and this is just me climbing a virtual mountain. And our buddy has gone away. Oh, that's sad. I scared him off, I guess. Now, I can't get up to that ledge uh, by reaching, so I'm going to have to throw myself up there. So, here we go. Yoink. Now, I am just hand over hand climbing through space. Now, how do I get over to those? I can't leap up that high. I can't leap that far. So, I'm going to have to reach over, climb up the side of the mountain. Really hoping this is working out okay showing uh, on my computer screen, but I can't actually see any of the chat while I'm doing this, not very easily anyway. I will take a look when I hit the first checkpoint. So um, I'm looking straight down right now, and again, if I move my arms back and forth to swing my virtual body and kind of see how far away that you know surface down there looks, I feel like I'm hanging about, uh, oh, I don't know, two... 200 meters above ground, I guess, 150 meters, something like that, quite a ways. Quite a far distance. So now I'm going to reach around. Should have actually turned on the feature that doesn't require me to turn my body to play this game, but so be it. I'll just have to make sure that I face the camera most of the time. All right. So uh, here's the problem. I got to leap either down or across to that ladder. Uh, let's go, let's go across because I want to go over to where that waterfall is. So, uh, my hands are getting sweaty, so I'm going to just chalk them up. Now I'm going to swing and, oh, come on, grab, grab, thank you. Ooh, that was a little freaky. Whew. All right, here we go, hand over hand, that's all I'm really doing. I mean, this part of it's easy. The leaping part of it takes a little bit of practice, but all right, now that's a breakable surface, so I'm going to have to go across that pretty quickly. Grab it over, yep. See it just broke behind me. That would have sent me plummeting to my death. Which is a very long way down. All right, climbing up. And now I can climb down if I want. Is there anything down here? Let's drop and take a look. Nope, nothing down here. Except a little dragonfly. Hi, buddy. All right, we're gonna go up. Here we go. And, whoop. And up. Got it? Yeah, that's fine. Oop. Hands are getting sweaty again. If I don't manage my stamina carefully, then I'll let go whether or not I want to or not. Because that's part of the game, is to understand how tired you're getting. Uh, all right, we're going to climb up here and then over. And now I'm going to hand over hand. Oop, I'm getting to the edge of my apartment. So I've got to be careful about that. All right. Uh, which way shall we go? Let's go, let's go up. Up and over, hand over hand, hand over hand, back down, and we clip in, and this is a checkpoint. So if we fall at this point, we won't go all the way back to the beginning, we'll just go back here. And then up, oh, and there's a little buddy running away. Again, it's hard to describe what this feels like to somebody who hasn't been in VR very much, or in fact at all. Um, the fact that I am not seeing this on a flat screen. I am seeing this fully in three dimensions. This seems like a rock to me. This seems like a surface. It's in three dimensions, like you're viewing it in real life. I mean, it's still a little bit video gamey because it's not perfectly photorealistic, but I am seeing it fully in three dimensions. So this is, okay, I'm gonna switch hands. 
This is something that will hurt me if I grab it, but if I'm careful, I can still use it to get across. So that is another game mechanic, just to keep you on your toes. I have to get across to that steel beam. So over, and I'm here. Oh, oh, oh. Almost fell because I did not manage my uh, fatigue, game fatigue. All right, I think I meant to go up. Yeah, so it's directing me. And that means that other path over there is likely from uh, the climbers coming around the other side of the mountain. But let's take a moment, take a look at the beauty of this little cliff waterfall that we've kind of been neglecting to watch over here as we pass by. And in fact, let's just pop back again. Over. Oh, 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 let's just be careful. How beautiful is that, right? Anyway, over we go again. Wah! All right, and then up. And now up again. And then a checkpoint. And this is um, another direction that we could have come from, but I think it's directing us that the way to the top of the mountain is a little up here. And looking around for more handholds, we're just going up and up. There's another checkpoint. And then here. All right, now, again, you can see that I've turned my body, so you might have, uh, that might be a little disconcerting. I'm just going to peek under my headset to make sure everything looks good on stream. It looks okay. Again, I can't read the chat just now because I'm in this gear and it doesn't show up on inside my helmet. Uh, but I will get to it the minute I get to a major checkpoint where I can stop for a second. Just to say hi. All right, here we go. And up. Ooh. All right, and here is checkpoint A. There it is, checkpoint A. Check out that view. We've made it up quite a distance up this mountain. And how lovely is that? All right, so I'm going to take a two-second breather to get myself a little bit of a uh, splash of, I guess I don't have any water, but I'm going to grab myself a splash of coffee. And uh, hopefully my friend is still watching the stream. Hey, buddy, how you doing? All right, let's get back into the center of my room. So where can I wander to here? I think, yeah, I think it's still centered in my room. That's good. Okay, can't believe I'm doing this on camera. Oh well, things you do for friends. <laughs> anyway, uh, so what are we doing here? So, bingity bang bong. Uh, too bad, unfortunately, they didn't allow you to swat this a little bit more solidly. They could have, but they didn't. I really wish they had. Anyway, this is a zip line, which we can reach up, and the mechanics on this are if you're grabbing with one hand, it stays put. If you grab with two hands, it starts going. It does also mean, oh my goodness, oh yeah, it does mean I can stop part way, and I think I'm going to use that to, uh, we're just going to use that to pop over, actually, Oop. and hit a checkpoint. We're going to just climb uh, hand over hand over hand. Uh, we might not actually be able to go that way, and we can't leap that high up. So, yeah, so that's just a shortcut to get to here. We can leap off early. I think we're going to have to go, do we go up or do we go around? Let's uh, see if there's anything over here. Uh, not really, so up. And then, whoops. <laughs> A little unsteady on the feet. If this much going on in your visual field, you do occasionally get a little bit of vertigo. Uh, but we're just uh, we're just climbing. We're just climbing. Now this is one of those hurdy handholds. So we got to be a little bit slow and careful on them. And okay, we got that. Question is, where do we go from here? Over there, I guess. Obviously, there's some handholds that are, you're really meant to grab onto um, when you're climbing these mountains. Uh, the steel girders are one of them, the white colored handholds are the other. It just helps you identify things that you can and can't grab. And up and over. Oh, there we go. And we're, uh, we're back uh, sort of above that canyon that we were in before. Um, a bit higher up, though. Hand over hand. Uh, okay. Where do we go from here? All right, 
right, so we have a couple of choices here. We, we can basically lower ourselves down there and take the easy path. The other way to go is to leap straight across. And that may look simple, because I've done bigger leaps than that already, but those are all breakable handholds. So if I go to those, I'm going to have to first of all get to them smoothly and then get off them really quickly. So, oh my goodness, I almost lost my grip there because I almost lost my stamina. Let's try that again. All right, here we go. All right, over, grab, grab, grab. And now we're around and we're safe. Yeah. All right. Hang around. All right. We're going to try the same trick here. We could have gone the lower, safer route, but instead we're going to try doing this route, but that's breakable and so is that one. So I'm going to have to grab this, leap, grab that, leap, and do that all fluidly. So here we go. Ready? Um, how do I want to do this? We have with my left hand first, and my right hand is the one that grabs the next one, and then the left hand is the one that grabs the final one. I think that's the way I want to do this. So here we go. Ready? Grab, throw, grab, throw, grab. There we go. Oop, two hands. Two hands are always better than one. And then up, and up, and up, and up, and then here we go. We're way above that canyon with the waterfall now. Actually, this is out of sort of a side crevice. All right, well, we can't go up directly. At least I don't know how to go up directly if there is a way. So I'm going to have to go underhand here, and underhand here. All the way through, and then here, right. All right, now, there's nowhere else to go except the way the heck down to that ladder down there. So we are gonna have to throw ourselves down to the below. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get my head under this and prepare to grab, ready, and leap. Got it? Yep. Whew. Well, let me tell you, your stomach drops right up from under you when you do that. It may only look like I'm standing in my apartment here, but inside the visor, I was felt like I was, I didn't actually feel like I was dropping, but it looked like I was dropping. You know what I mean. Anyway, now that was the rope we came in on, but we couldn't get from there up to there. So we had to go all the way around just to be able to get there. And if we miss that, we're gonna have to do this all over again. So here we go, up and grab, yep, here we go. I uh, don't think any of those surfaces are grabbable, so we're just going to come around here. Now I'm turning to the camera, and I'm going to be turning too far away from the camera now. So I'm going to recenter by turning myself this way and do a recenter trick. And all that really does is it just basically changes which way I'm facing. Now I'm going to do that again, actually. So I kind of want to be facing the camera uh, for the sake of this. So I'm going to go up. And up. Now, looking around, we could go over or we could go, oh, well, really, that's just the B checkpoint right there. So it doesn't really matter how we get there. But let's just for fun go this way. Oh, goodness. Oh, goodness. Oh, wow. OK. That was sloppy. All right. And the reason why that happened The reason why that happened is because I was holding on with one hand in a panic and I used up all my stamina and just fell. So let's do that again, only this time without losing any stamina. So I hold on to the surface and I couldn't get two hands on it fast enough to compensate. So just looking around the corner here, where does this go? Oh, this comes up from another route. Oh, isn't that interesting? Well, um, the B checkpoint is just up here. I'm not going to find out where that goes right now. I'll find that out another time. I'll probably come in from the other direction. And here, oh, chalk up my hands so I don't slip. Use up stamina. I'm going to grab that painfully and then up to here and checkpoint again. One last leg to do, and I'm going to take a quick little. Uh, Sip of my coffee. Last one, and then I gotta call it a stream. Because I'm not gonna make this uh, one super long. So, here we go. Final trip. Final trip. 
All right. Here we go. Um, I'm trying to get up there. Question is, which direction do I go? And I think, again, I've been through the cavern enough times. Let's go to the outside. So here we go. And then fling. All right. And then around to the outside. Fling. Whoa! But flung too hard there. All right, let's uh, recenter. Just so I'm facing the camera a little bit more. I wouldn't normally have to do that because normally when I film uh, me doing VR stuff, I'm not actually in the camera shot. Um, all right, so all the way over, around to the outside. Let's just take a moment to take a quick, relaxing look at this beautiful mountain that I'm way up on the top of. I used to be down there. I came up that side, I think, actually. All right. All right, here we go. Fling. It's actually more of a workout than you might think, actually. I mean, I'm not literally pulling my body around anywhere, but... All right, fling, all right. Oh, hey, buddy, sorry, I didn't mean to scare you off. It's your mountain, too. All right, here we go, and ah, whoa! No, no, that was a fail. No, that was a bad fail. Let's, uh, all right, let's. I goofed and plummeted to my death. All right, fling, climb, over. All right, rough grab. Okay, now I'm climbing straight up. Hey, how you doing? All right. Hey, buddy. All right. Uh, up and up and up. Now the question is, where do I go from here? Uh, I don't think I can make that leap, but what I can do, I may not need to actually. I think I have to go here. Get some chalk on the hands. I guess uh, I guess I'm actually leaping that way. I bet you that rope is if you're coming around the outside of the mountain. So here we go, and watch. Oh, yeah, pull. Oh. <laughs> my bearings, and now I am completely back to the camera. So we're gonna resend to the camera again. So just so I'm uh, facing you guys for the sake of the, well, my friend anyway. I don't know how many people end up watching this, but here we go. All right, be center. Thank you. Um, um, hmm. Can I fling myself, switch hands, I fling myself all the way over there? Yes, barely, barely. All right. And over and around. All right, and then there we go. Just recenter. Nope, can't reach that. That's a little too far from my arms. Okay, that's where we have to get to. Question is, how do we get there? Uh, up, all the way over here. Oh, and there's a rope. And uh, this game has some not only nice vistas, but uh, often a nice little denouement. In this case, our friend with the uh, our friend the goat over here on the mountaintop, and. Some squirrel scoop, some squirrel suit skydivers zipping past me, goofballs. Here's another one coming in too. There he is, sipping on past me. And this is a very, very long drop into nothingness on all sides of me. But what a climb! Hey, look, got a little bit of a, a glider off in the distance and a blimp down there. 
Beautiful. All right, well, that's enough of this. I've had my uh, afternoon climb up the mountains. Thank you so much for joining me. Uh, it's been fun. Uh, thanks to my friend for uh, popping in and taking a look. Uh, and that's where I'm going to leave it for today. This has been Code Weaver Plays Games. Thanks, and I'll see you in the next stream.